Welcome back, guys. We've got some new units in the game. We've got the Spartan Warrior, as you can see at the bottom here, and the Hussar. So this video is going to be focusing on the Hussar. I'm going to try something different here as a test for these um, units. So rather than do the every unit versus every unit thing, which you know I've already stopped doing. I don't like them. I hate them. Don't like them. Ah, they've gone. I thought we could try something different. So I thought we could try a few battles uh, against units of comparable value to see which are best value for money if you're picking out a lot of units for a bigger battle. And then we're going to try them out against some of the bigger units in the game just to see how they fare, you know, against them as well. So we're going to mix it up and we're going to start off with a battle versus the slow mos. Here we go. So here we go with battle number one. So um, yeah, these units are exactly the same value. So I've got twenty dollars for the hussars and twenty dollars for the slow mos. So let's get to battle number one and see how this one turns out, shall we? I think. As you guys know, if you've seen those stars before, they're very quick. The shotguns will take some, the shotgun and um, slow mo will take a few early, uh, early victims. But these hussars are so rapid that I think the slow mos are going to struggle to get the shots away before they're spiked through the chest there. Wow. That one went as expected from me anyway, at least. A win there for the Hussars in their first battle against comparable value units. No surprise to me at all. Right, next up we've got the Knockout Artists. Also $20 as well, so the same value as the Hussars. Will these guys fare any better than the slow mos? Let's find out. Give these guys slightly more of a chance. It depends how they get speared initially. Oh, they've survived the initial. Oh, they've survived the initial spears. They've got the hussars off the back of there. Oh, the actual, the actual kind of like soldier units, or even to call them, appear to be struggling here a little bit. This is a lot more even than the first battle. And it's, it's just horses versus mostly horses versus the gorillas now. The gorillas are punching the hell out of these horses. This is a lot more even, you know. This is pretty 50-50. These guys with the swords have got no chance against them, though. The horses seem to be faring slightly better. A couple of them still on horses, which might still make a, a big difference in this battle. Let's find out. Can these guys get a couple of kills in? Oh, they've missed. They can't afford misses. It's three versus two, I think, isn't it? I think it's three knockout artists versus two horses. Can they knock them off? They need to knock these guys off. If one of them can get knocked off here, I think the knockout artists might have this. This is a very close battle. Oh, it's a good punch, and there's one off. And that horse has been beaten down pretty back, pretty quickly. This guy needs to get someone down here. Oh, he's got one down, and he's escaped. He's, st he's still got a chance. He's giving himself, giving himself another run up. Two left. Can he get one here? Oh, he's off his horse. The horse is 2v1 now. The horse is going to get beat down for sure. Well, there we go. I'm actually kind of surprised by that one. I honestly thought the Hussars would have would have won that more. Well, would have won it. Not even one more company. I thought they'd have won that one, but no. Knockout Artist is apparently better unit than Hussars. Let's move on to test number three. Right, third test. We've got blade worms. Now, for me, Hussars are going to win this one hands down, but then can they actually spike them with their with their uh, long old jousty poles or not? That's the question, isn't it? Can they actually get onto them? Or will these guys lock on and cause issues? We'll see. This is a weird battle. You're not going to see blade worms fighting horses at any other point in your life, are you? Let's be honest. Let's hope blade worms never exist as a real thing. Creepy little. As um, Ebony from my channel, from one of my subscribers, call it spaghetti units. One of the spaghetti units. Whoa, that blade worm has launched him. Blade worms are demolishing these guys. Like, I am suitably surprised it's this one sided. That guy's a helmet from one of the other ones. Oh my word. This is a bit of a pasting. I'll be honest, this is even more dominant than the, um, the knockout ice. I am truly stunned. They are getting destroyed here. So, I thought the Hussars were going to be one of the best units on this game. It turns out that pound for pound, that maybe they're not that good. <laughs> maybe they're not all dollar for dollar as is in this game. Maybe they're not as good as I thought they were. They're getting wrecked here. I mean, we had two knockout artists left at the end of it. Blade Worms, however. We've got five still going here. This guy's not going to kill any off, is he? Look at this. They've destroyed him. Five of them alive still. Blade Worms better than Hussars? What? I mean, that's really surprised me a lot. Right, War. battle number four. War. I feel, guys, at this point, I need to War. warn you, there is some imminent War. potential cryo War. abuse coming up War. because next battle is War. against the Crylophosauruses. I know some of you are campaigning War. for the stop cryo War. abuse on my streams. War. Guys, if you don't watch War. my streams, you need War. to watch them and see what's going on there. Crylophosauruses die with everyone. Their people are now War. starting to hashtag stop cryo War. abuse because Crylophosauruses die against too many people. War. I warn you, it's the next battle, you've been told. Anyway, War. these guys are $19 each, so we'll give them an extra one, shall we? Let's be fair, so they're... Slightly more in value there, but you know, they're, they're, they're a dollar less, so we'll give them one more to be fair. Let's see if the rhinos, this should be pretty even, as I said, because they're kind of a similar size. They're both kind of battering ram units to an extent. Who's going to win this one then? Got to say, the Hussar so far, dollar for dollar, have not really excelled themselves, have they? They've had one win so far against the slow mos. Everyone, against everyone else, they've not been great. They appear to be doing a bit better against the rhinos. They've taken a couple down already. The rhinos apparently can't get a lot on them. I don't know, I can't tell. I thought, I thought that the uh, Hussars maybe were winning this one. 
I still think they are. They are. They're, they're taking control of this one slowly, I think, here. These two have double teamed that. I say that. Here come two Rhinos, though. And maybe not. Maybe not yet. We're, what, four versus three here? Oh, these guys are getting destroyed down here. Oh, that ended very quickly there. We've nearly done. Wow. There were four of them alive, and then ten seconds later, they were all dead. The Sars are better than Rhinos. I actually thought Rhinos would win that one. So there we go. Out of the two, Sars are your best choice out of those two. Onto the cryo abuse, potentially, um, guys. You've been warned. You've been warned. Right, so no one can accuse me of trying to attempt cryo abuse. Right, they've got 12 units, totaling 216, right? If one less, they're on 198. They're getting more than enough chance to beat these these 10, all right? Can the Cryodophosauruses win a battle on my uh, on my channel? In streams, they do when you guys give them stupendous amounts of health and attack power. But in a normal battle, can they come good? Let's see. I don't want to hear hashtag stop Cryodophosaurus abuse, guys. These guys have been given a fair chance here to win this battle. And oh look, I'm seeing a few dead Cryodophosauruses. Although, not that many yet. They're kind of digging in a little bit, but they're not killing anybody as usual. They've killed one, they've killed one, one unit so far. One Hussar's down. Uh, I see a lot more Cryodophosauruses down than I do um, than I do Hussars. Well, this is a great shock to me, as I'm sure you know, guys, because you know how much I, I rate the um, how much I rate the Cryodophosaurus as well. They're such a great unit on this game. They really, really compete well. And oh look, and oh look, what a surprise! There are more Hussars left in this one than every other battle, except probably for the slow mos. Bet anyone's died on one team. However, all these dudes that are useless. Sorry, stop cryo abuse. No, it's going to continue on my channel. Sorry, these guys are useless. Hussars win this one. Right, this is the last of the comparable unit battles before we get on some of the heavyweights in the in the game. So here we go. Nine saltwater crocodiles, which is close enough to the same value. We'll go with that. Otherwise, they're quite a long way but quite a long way over. Let's try nine of these bad boys against these hussars and see what happens here, shall we? Is there a chance here for the crocodiles? I'm not quite sure how they'll get on against them, to be fair. Can they drag can they pull them down or not? I wonder if the hussars will struggle to spike these guys. And once everyone's off the horses, I feel like the saltwater crocodiles have the advantage. So this is this is a, this is for me is a bit 50-50. We shall see. I'm not completely convinced this is going to be all all plain sailing for the hussars. However, looking at the death across the map so far of um, saltwater crocodiles, this is incredibly one-sided. I only see one of them off there. Any dead horses? One dead horse and one dead little man down here. I think he's dead anyway. I'm pretty sure he's dead from trampling. Wow, that was pretty one-sided. God, these horses are so noisy, man. So noisy. Anyway, a comfortable in there for the Hussars against Saltwater Crocodiles. Now, let's get on to the big guns of the game. Right, so the next five battles are going to be testing them against the bigger units in the game, so the top five based on their value. So in reverse order, the top five are Spino, T-Rex, Gorehammer, Goro, and Hydra. So we're starting with Spino, then we'll work through the other ones as well. So we know normally that you know, these battles tend to favour the larger number of units. They are, value-wise, we've got $400 here for the Hussars, 405 for the Spinos. We know on the whole, on the whole, larger numbers tend to win when they're, when they're pound for pound the same cost normally. Or dollar for dollar, I say pound for pound, dollar for dollar in this game. Can the Spinos prove that's wrong? Let's see. Kung Fu horses are raining down on this boy. Oh, they've already car killed one, carrying this guy over, and they're now wrecking the third one. This is not look good for the Spinos. I mean, this is not a massive surprise, but they've demolished him pretty quickly as well. Okay, decent and pretty good at killing quickly against a, a more powerful opponent when there's large numbers of them. Good effort for the Hussars there. On to the T-Rex. Right, next up we've got the T-Rexes versus the Hussars. So as you can see here, Team 1 Hussars. We've got 21 of them. It says 42 in the bottom right-hand corner purely because their class is... Each unit's class is two. It's, it's weird, but I guess there's two of them per unit, so that's why. So they've got a value of 420, as have the T-Rexes. So let's crack on with this one. See if the T-Rexes can fare any better than the um, than the Spinos did. Is that a T-Rex down already? This T-Rex... Nope, he's just had a, a bit of a slipping moment, but he's back up on his feet. There's a fair few... There's a fair few um, Hussars off their horses. I'm not sure which part of the unit is the Hussar, but there's a fair few horsemen off the unit, shall we say, off, their, off the back of their horses right now, shall we say. But I think it's the spears that do the damage on this. We've got one T-Rex down, we've got two T-Rexes down, we've got three T-Rexes down. That was pretty rapid as well. There aren't a great deal, looking at this, a great deal of um, Hussars dead, are there? There's a few. I'm not sure if that was much better than the Spino, to be quite honest. Again, pretty dominant from the Hussars, so fair played. Good work, guys. Let's move on to the Gorehammer. This one will be interesting. Right, now this one may or may not be interesting. I'm not sure. The Gorehammer's 
uh, not the weak, not the strongest unit they get attacked. However, how many people can they knock off with the hammers initially? Well, that's, that, that'll be the key thing here. So we've got a team value here of the Hussars of 480. We've got a team value of 495 for the Gore Hammers. Is there any chance of the Gore Hammers? They need to take off multiple people with their first swing here. How many can they take out? Oh, not a great deal. This might be brief. This might be brief. Can any Gore Hammers fend them off? Two of them are still alive. Uh, you feel there's just too many, there's too many numbers again here for them, surely. Yeah. Fairly, fairly expected, I think. But, you know, you know, the Hussars were more dominant in that one against the more, exp more expensive unit. But I guess Gore Hammers are probably quite weak, so, you know. Maybe expected, but, you know, interesting to find these things out anyway. Right, second from last battle here, guys. We've got $510 value for the three Goros here on the right-hand side. And we've got a $500 value here for the 25 Hussars on the left. Can the Goros be the one unit that can upset them? against all the odds with the larger numbers. If anyone's going to do it, surely they've got a chance. Oh, they're throwing a lot away early on there. Come on, Goros. I want to see one of the bigger units take them down here. Oh, they are wrecking them. How, how, I guess the question is how dangerous and how much power is there in these spears? The Goros are surely going to dominate this one. Though. Look at this already. Not, not one Goro dead here. Not one Goro dead. They are beating the hell out of the Hussars. They're throwing them everywhere. They're literally launching them all over the map. There goes another horse in the background. There goes another rider. Another horse getting thrown away. They're literally chucking him out like rubbish, aren't they? Literally throwing them away like, oh, he has picked him up and launched him against the Invisible Edge Arena. Oh, guys, five horses. Look at that. He's just demolishing him like they're just nothing. They're nothing to the Goro. This is the last horse. Oh, so another rider's been wrecked over in the background there. Goros are destroying. These poor horses are getting punched. Oh, and that's going to end them when that horse lands, surely. Is that all of them? Wow. Okay. So most of the bigger units have struggled when when been up against a larger numbers of Asars. Goros step in, no one dies. Well done, Goros. Round of applause for the Goros. Good work there. Bit of horse abuse there, guys. I'm apologising for that one a little bit. Still not apologising for the cryo abuse. Sorry. Cryo abuse can continue. Ah. On to the final battle. Right. So I reckon we all know how this one's going to go because I don't think the Hydras have got nothing about them to throw the units away uh, quickly enough. So we've got 78 or 39. Uh, hussars in this one but 78 units overall with them being in pairs as such and i've got three hydras so 780 value versus 780 value have the hydras got any chance at all here i believe they're gonna be dead very quickly but let's find out i think the goras may be the only unit big unit to take on take on these guys in larger numbers let's see if the hydras can prove me wrong i feel like the hydras are gonna get stabbed up pretty quick here however they've put a few down already i guess they can oh there's a big mound of bodies one Hydra is gone. One of them is still on his feet at least. Oh, he's down as well. And as long as the units don't get stuck and can manage to get to the heads of these Hydras, you fear this is going to be over pretty quickly now. If the unit, if this doesn't get finished quite quickly, we'll end the battle because I don't want to... No one wants to sit here and watch these guys just struggling to get kits in on people, which is probably what's going to happen. Always, it's happened every time. I want to see this horse beating down. Oh, is this head dead? Oh, he's got the jousting spear right in this guy's, right in this, in this one's head. He's done it. There we go. I'll be honest, that was not a surprise to me at all. The Goros did very well, but that one was less of a surprise. All right, guys, chill. They're dead. They're dead. Chill. Chill, horses. Chill. Chill. Calm down, horses. Calm down. There we go. We're calm. We're calm. Anyway, guys, now the horses have calmed down. Shh. Oh, my word. They are just a noisy unit on this game, right? Anyway, hope you liked this video, guys. I thought I'd try something a bit different. I don't like every verse, every unit versus every unit, but as you know, I really despise them. People apparently still say they hate them and they're still doing them anyway, but I'm, I'm making a stand. I'm not doing them. They're gone from my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of like uh, spin on it a bit, so I thought we'd try them. It's worth seeing, I think, against comparable units to see how they do, because, whoops, a daisy, cameraman lost his... Cool there. Anyway, yeah, I always think it's interesting to see how they do against units of comparable value. Because if, you, if you're doing battles where you've got a limited budget, um, such as my impending tournament that's coming up, you know, you might be interested for that. Then at least you can see how they do against them to see which ones you get best, which are best value for money, both against against units of, of similar value and also how they do against the bigger units. So there we go. So I hope this has been useful. Anyway, I'll be doing another one similar to this for the other unit, for the Spartan Warrior, uh, probably tomorrow. And until then, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Cheers all. Bye.